What's up guys, this is Miles here bringing you another walkthrough. Uh, this is walkthrough part 4. Okay, so where we left off, we just got into Rust of Boro City. And right now, I am new to the place. <laughs> Can't remember uh, where to go, pretty much. So I went in here, but I was like, nah, screw that. So, uh, the first place uh, I, would go I would look at is, of course, the Pokemon Center. But my Pokemon is in pretty good health right now. So I'm going to go to this training uh, center right here. Um, if you come in here, and you'll see a bunch of these uh, trainer guys or students or whatever. And if you come over here and tap A on this guy, he's going to be looking around the classroom. He comes back to talk to you, and he says, um, the Quick Claw is an item that can be used to uh, attack faster, or you'll be the first to attack, so it gives you it. So if you let your Pokemon hold that, uh, you can attack first beforehand. So that's pretty nifty. Um, uh, it's a pretty valuable item, so I suggest uh, keeping that. So I'm um, here. I tried skipping a few of the trainers, um, just because I wanted to get through this. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. So um, I if you pick up this ball right here, you'll find a repel. So I skipped through most of. The, well, no, I didn't skip them. I battled them. But uh, after the way on when you get back, uh, on the mountain there'll be an X special. Um, really the X special defends and attacks or whatever, um, basically you use them in battle and they'll raise your attack or defense, whatever. So, yeah, it's not really that useful. I just sell them, but that's what I do. Um, and so when we enter in the cave, uh, there's pretty much only going to be Wishmers in here. Uh, they're okay, I guess. Like, their evulsion is pretty good, like the last one, but, uh, I don't really um, recommend getting one, but it's up to you, of course. But if you come here, you get a Pokeball. So we're going to head out of the uh, cave and head over here to Route 115. I'm going to talk to this girl. Let's see what she says. Uh, she doesn't say anything, so okay, whatever. Nothing interesting over here. But if you come over here to the right of the beach, you find another Pokeball, a Super Potion. So a Super Potion, depending if you are starting out with a Trico in the... No. A Torchic. Or if you have a, yeah, a Torchic in the game, you might need that Super Potion. But although, if you evolve your Torchic into Combuskin like I did, you learn Double Kick, which uh, makes your attack super effective. So that way you can actually beat the Gym Leader pretty easily. So I'm just going to head over here to the Pokemon Center because I'm going to be on my way to the Gym Leader pretty soon. Um, but also, uh, let me just say this to you guys because I haven't said it yet, that this is going to be a very short... Uh, walkthrough it's only like about four and a half minutes long uh just because i wanted to break down pretty much uh you know the way to the gym but anyway uh so yeah i battled uh the few trainers here and now we're finally uh, versing the trainer or the pokemon gym leader roxanne so let's get this on epic music plays didn't it Dun, dun, dun. All right, use double kick on the rock type, uh, rock type Pokemon because rock is weak against fighting type moves. So since Combuskin has that, uh, it only took two hits for him to die. So, <laughs> but although, yeah, uh, double kick or no, was that what's it called? Yeah, double kick. Uh, it pretty much um is a two hit uh move. So yeah. So uh, here, I we can nose pass down to a weak level. I'm gonna use double click again, but Ro Roxanne uses a potion, so it heals. But sadly, not enough to make me actually defeat it. So look, that was pretty easy. See, if you have a Combuskin uh, for this uh, gym leader, you're pretty much set to go. So here we go. Uh, my Flamey is, uh, or Combuskin is still at level 20. <laughs> but here I defeated the, or still at level 19. Sorry, my bad. But I beat the gym leader. So there we go. I got the stone badge. Um, so yeah, let's talk to her a little bit more. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. Also enables them to use the HM move cut. Please bring this with you. Or keep this with you, TM39. So TM39 contains Rock Tome, so that's cool. So you can teach that to a Rock-type Pokemon if you want, or whichever Pokemon can use it. So that's basically the end of the walkthrough, guys. I'll see you guys next time on walkthrough number 5.